I guess you want me to do the intro. I guess so. You've kind of commandeered it, so. You take the intro this time. Well, I thought you wanted the intro. Not really. Well, there's the intro to out, <laughs> out, Outdoor Gaming Podcast. <laughs> Outcast Podcast. Overtime Podcast, episode 100. Episode 100. Alright, but for real, episode, what is this, like 13? Tw- 12. 12. We're one week ahead of... We're one week ahead of the NFL schedule, yes. Welcome to the Overtime Podcast, week 12. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far, because I know I haven't. I mean, I have. Uh, we don't got too much on the table today. Um, no CDL news besides Scrap being an absolute demon in the off season right now. I think he's already won like four or five invitational matches, including like a 2v2. So I know he won Methods tournament. I know he just they did they just won uh Kaysen's fifty thousand dollar tournament. Woo! Dude's been raking in the fucking money over the off season. He's kinda nasty. But will that actually show up during the actual CDL practices? We'll find out. I don't know. Uh I'm not gonna lie, that team looked very dangerous. The team looked very dangerous. Hunter T looked Immaculate. They did a reverse sweep against FaZe. And... Wow. Lost to Optic. Comes back in the grand finals and then beats them in Optic. Like, that's just crazy to me. Anyway. That's about the only CDL (laughs) news we really have today until it actually kicks off here in the next... Yeah, I was going to say, here coming up. Very shortly. Uh, But yeah. Spotify listeners, again, if you guys want to watch this, it is twitch.tv Murdoch Gamer live on Wednesdays. And then goes up on YouTube Fridays at 6 a.m. on Murdoch Gaming. So check it out. Come have fun. I also stream some other shit. So, but all right, Alex, what are we talking about? What's so, uh, really, the only only thing that stuck out to me this week, as far as any sports related thing, it's been uh, the topic of a lot of contention this week. Is Debo Samuel Jr. getting pit royally pissed off at Moody and whoever Snapdragon, whatever his name is, Snapdragon? <laughs> so I don't, he wasn't really pissed off when I was watching the game because it was actually on Fox. Thank God. Um. Poor dad couldn't watch it. It wasn't on his channel for some reason. Don't know why. That's um, weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, come on, NFL. You got to do something about that, man. Just saying. We want to watch our teams. Let's watch our teams. You're going to put games out on Sunday. Let's watch them, dude. It has to be subscription services somewhere instead of YouTube TV. There's something needs done. Anyway. T-Bell, I don't think, was really that pissed. He was just he was pissed that he got snapped at. And Debo, they said it in uh, already that Debo, all he said was lock, lock the fuck in. And he'd say that to anybody. He would. Kyle Shanahan straight up said he'd say that to anybody. And uh, I heard Richard Sherman talking about it too, and I agree with Richard Sherman. He says, you know, you're playing uh, professional sports. You're in a national league. He said, you are a professional. Yeah, so, I mean. Missing one field goal. Yeah, okay, yeah. you know, hey, shake it off. Mission two field goals is like, all right, dude, you know, like, come on. Like, he says, missing three? Hey, he yeah. Says, You're being held at a high standard. He says, whether it's special teams, punting, it doesn't matter what it is. You're being held at a high standard. He says, because let me put it this way. He says, if I would have gave up a touchdown, because he was a cornerback. So if I would have gave up a touchdown, my teammates would have came up to me and said, lock the fuck in. He yeah. Says, and not one of them other teammates would have came and backed backed me up. He says, because I gave up a touchdown. He says, I'm being held to that standard. He said, so for this long snapper to do that for Moody, he says, I don't understand it. He says, I understand backing up your kicker. He says, but you can't be missing three field goals. Right. You just can't be. He said, so Debo just did what any good 
player would have done. Hey, let's lock in. Let's get it. So, and I, I was pissed. It. I mean, Richard Sherman said it best, though. He says, once you miss three field goals, dude, he says the team's going to be mad at you. The fans are going to get mad at you. He says, you're going to have a lot of hate for missing three field goals. Uh, yeah, yeah. And all, I think I only maybe saw out of the hundreds of comments, I only saw one comment that was kind of like, that was uncalled for and he shouldn't be pissed off. And everybody else was like, let the man cook because... And again, he wasn't uh, pissed off. He just he just went over there. He told him to lock the fuck in. The snapper wanted to get mad at him and say some shit. Well, then now I'm going to get pissed. Yeah, yeah. Because now if I drop a, a touchdown pass... If Debo would drop a touchdown pass, right, and you go up to him and say, lock the fuck in, who the hell is going to say a word? Yeah. It, you know, it's... Everyone's going to say, why didn't you catch that? You get yeah. paid millions to catch it. Okay, you're getting paid millions to kick that motherfucking ball through the upright, yeah. so you better kick that motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, plain and simple. Um, I don't know. I was fucking pissed. I was pissed from before. Yeah, right. Like, I, I understand you can make one or two during a game, but we need a we need more of a clutch kicker than we need uh, a guy who's going to make three or five a game. Right. You know, we need someone who's going to make the game winner. Moody made the game winner. I ain't got much to say about that. But at the end of the day, if he would have made the first three... He, they wouldn't have been in. Mayfield wouldn't have had a short field to work with. And possibly not 20 points on a fucking board. Possibly. I'm not saying it wouldn't have. Right. But a kickoff's a lot different than a fucking starting out on a fucking 45-yard line. You know? So, I, I don't know. I just feel like it was... Uh, I wasn't very happy. Right. That, so I, I'm with you, though. Yeah, I... You know, here, here's my thing, is football... The difference between... A, a national football league football player and me is that their job is their passion. Well, that and you got to think like again, Ayuk. Let's just go back to earlier in the year. Ayuk dropped that ball. Yeah. What was the first thing everyone said? Why the fuck did you You're drop that ball? <laughs> getting paid thirty million to drop a ball. Yeah. But I mean, I, I what, what I'm what's trying to get at though is that I. I I can totally understand Debo's, like, reaction, I guess. Not really reaction, but I understand why he went over and said something. Because that's it. football's his life. It's his passion. I get that. Like, I, You can say that. I mean, you can say that all day long, but at the end of the day, it's still a job. Like, he's still getting paid. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, though, is, is not only is it his job, but it's a job he's passionate about. So I fully expect him to, to go over, even if he did get royally, you know, royally pissed off at the guy. I would expect that because it's his job. Like, I just, in my personal opinion, I said Moody needed to go last year. And I was. Well, like, and a lot of people are agreeing to that <clears throat> from what I now, said. And now and it's in three field goals to potentially, if yeah. Juwan Jennings didn't get the extra seven yards, potentially missing the game winning field goal, dude, you need to you need to reevaluate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Situation. You need to do something there, yeah, for sure. We're, we're obviously not getting in the end zone. Yeah. Dude. So if we're relying on a kicker, then there's something else going on. Yeah. I agree. Well, if if we rely on a kicker and a kicker can't kick what the fuck do we got? We yeah. have nothing. Now you're just double, double and shit. <laughs> Our defense can't score touchdowns for us all the time. Right. So, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay. Well, um, just to preface, I have no injuries. There were no new injuries that I saw that stood out. Okay. So I'll add to the injury list. Uh, sounds like Dak Prescott is done for the year. Oh, I forgot about Dak Prescott. My He's bad. He's getting surgery, so it's it's Ooh. probably. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Well, speaking wow. of injuries, speaking of injuries, it's nice to see CMC back. It is. It is. It was Still nice. scary to watch him run because well, I'm, like, I, terrified. I, I, yeah, I get that. Uh, Ricky Purcell getting player of the game. It was nice to see. And scoring his first touchdown in the NFL. That was nice to see. Especially considering what happened to him. 
And meanwhile, I trip getting out of bed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I haven't seen any updates about Green Law yet. Um, yeah, I don't. I I'm mean, hoping he's coming back. I mean, I didn't see anything. That doesn't mean that maybe I just overlooked it or whatever. But I feel like I would have been like, "Oh, Green Law." Yeah. Okay, what is that? That looks like old news, bro. Fake news. news. Fake news. Yeah, what the hell? There we go. There we go. Sorry, I was looking something up and it gave me last year's shit. Uh. Okay, so Nico Collins sounds like he's coming back okay. this week. Okay. It does sound like old boy's coming back. That'll be good. That would be nice. I think they should let him sit this next one out, though. I don't think they're going to need him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I think they're going to need him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not seeing much on... I didn't really see anything that stood out to me, necessarily. Not any names that I really recognized, or any big names, so... It was a pretty, uh, uh, quiet before the storm week. I don't see this week going well. <laughs> That's funny. Uh... Running back Aaron Jones says the reason he was carted off the field was because the x-ray machine was on the other side of the stadium. Uh, <laughs> he didn't want to walk that far. Oh, hey, Ooh. you know what? I don't blame him. Well, ribs. I mean, that's... I, no, I don't blame him. Meanwhile, Ricky Purcell got shot 71 or 70-some days ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 71 times have been dead, bro. I said 71 days ago. I know, but you were almost getting ready to say 71 times. I know you were. That's why you stopped yourself. That'd been crazy, bro. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I have to make a joke, but I gotta get something out to make the joke. Uh, I said 71, right? <laughs> you, could yeah. call, you could call him 3,550 cent. <laughs> <laughs> and they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> but anyway, that's all the <laughs> news and injuries we actually have for this. Yeah, this it, it, it was pretty, uh, week. it's been pretty quiet this past week. It's been pretty boring. I'm sure there's other news that we missed, but you know. Well, um, I didn't really scour like I normally do. Um, all Again, right. we're not perfect. So I'm going to do, we're going to talk about last week's games. I do want to do something, not do something a little different, but I want to kind of change how we do this. Uh, I'll say what the, what the teams were, what the game was, but I'm also going to say who we uh, picked last week before you get into your, into your little spiels that you go on. All right. So the first match was the Bengals at Ravens, and we both did have the Ravens on that one. Yeah. Okay. Very well. barely they fade, they got. Ah, uh, yeah, it was a damn close match. Match, I like how you say. Shut match. up! Shut up! Bengals hit that two point. That is over. Yeah. Um. Next match was Giants at Panthers, and we both had the Giants for that one. 
I see the last match. So I, I, I did yeah. not expect the Panthers to pull through on that one. That was wild. Well, to be fair, they went to overtime. Dude fumbles first play of the overtime. And, I mean, that gave the Panthers really good field position. Yeah. Um. Next match, was, or next game was Falcons at Saints. And we both had the Falcons, and they lost. Yeah, speaking of three missed field goals, oh. they could have missed three field goals for the Falcons, and look what happened. Yep. Lost by a field goal. Yep. That's why kicking is important, and I'll never bash a kicker unless uh, you start missing. Right, right. Um, Next match, which or next game, which was probably the closest game of the week, was the Patriots at Bears. <laughs> I was at the closest game of the week. <laughs> um, we both had the Bears winning that one, by the way. <laughs> they won all right. <laughs> my, the, my thing is with that is they want to talk about how good Caleb Williams is. Well, he fucking sucked again. Uh, yeah. 120 yards passing, 16 for 30. Obviously, no touchdowns, no interceptions. He got sacked nine times for 51 yards, bro. Yeah, that's bad. I saw the score on that one, and I went, oh, my God. So if you deduct the sacks from his passing yards, he would only had 69. Ha, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, next game with Steelers at Commanders. This one I got right and you got wrong. So, ha 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 ha. I was very shocked. It was close though, I will say. So, I I could see why. And no, I'm still not on the rush train. I I mean, I'm not either, but I don't know. I just felt like the Steelers were going to win that one and they did. So, I, I've been, I've been told many times now there's two sides of that story against the Commanders. <clears throat> there was people saying Russ did good, and then there was people saying Russ did bad. I'm saying he won the game. I'm not saying... He did good or bad, but he won. He wasn't Russ from the Super Bowl that he won. Right, right. He The year, I should say. <clears throat> uh, no, I get, I get what you're saying. And, you know, that's the standard that people should kind of hold him at. Yeah, I, Again, I agree. He threw five interceptions last year in one game. I know that was last year, and he was with the Broncos. But as an elite quarterback, you can't be doing that. Like, Goff just did it. Yeah. They still won the game some fucking how. I don't understand how the Lions still pulled that out, but they did. <laughs> okay? If Russ throws five interceptions on the Steelers, I don't see them pulling it out. Right. I just don't. But... What helps both Lions and Steelers, in case he does throw five interceptions, is the fucking running game they got. They both got a stout offensive line for a running, and you got Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. They're both absolute incredible running backs. And then on the Lions side, you got Montgomery and Gibbs. They're both outstanding running backs. So what helps your passing game is your run game, and that's why the Steelers that's to me right now is why the Steelers are winning. Okay. It ain't just the quarterback. You know, they put a lot of they put a lot of faith in Fields when, you know, they were gonna start Russell. They were. That was always in the game plan. But they, they put a lot of faith in him to hold the team up. But the run game this year stepped up from last year. And I'm just I'm just straightforward saying it. But you look at your offensive coordinator, he's a lot different. He's the head coach from Falcons last year. Okay. And he liked to run the ball. So he's he's okay. Because he had Bijan Robinson and Tyler Algier. Literally, you got your speed back and you got your power back. Just like Najee and Warren here. Okay. Well now you also got Cordell Patterson too, because Cordell Patterson actually came from Atlanta, so I'm just saying, it, it just, the running game, if you can run the ball, you can pass the ball. Because you do a lot of play action, you know, it makes it look like, oh, they're going to run the ball, oh, nope, over top, touchdown, 
15 yards, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're going to get a lot of yards. Yeah. Passing. But, I mean, again, he did he did what he needed to to win the game. And that's, at the end of the day, that's all that fucking matters. But, my, my, the only problem I have with Russell still is if you put Justin Fields in that position. Oh, well, <laughs> they only won by one point. I, All right, dude. Why, why are we? Why are we not saying that about Russ? Like, well, you know, it's funny you say that because I saw a meme. It has this has nothing to do with the Steelers or the Commanders, but I saw a meme and it was comparing um, Burrow to Mahomes, and Burrow at that point was doing better than Mahomes, but everyone was saying he's washed, he's washed, and it's like, and he was doing better than Mahomes, and everyone's over here praising Mahomes. Like that's kind of yeah, the same you vibe I get. You, you're <laughs> two quarterbacks on the same team. Yeah, Again, yeah. When 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 Justin Fields started winning these games, and it was like, oh, field goal here. This like, dude, he still did enough to win the game. He's not turning the ball over to lose the game. Right. You know, like the time that they they, they didn't score one touchdown against the Falcons. But look, I, I said this, and again, it's proving again this year. The Falcons' defense is fucking stacked. So I don't know. I just I just hate the. They both got their pros and cons. Russ can throw the ball. I'm not gonna. I'm never right. gonna doubt that. That dude can place it where he needs to. But he's also a veteran. He better be able to place it where he needs to. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Better. You better know how to do your damn job. If Justin Fields learns from Russ, then he'll be Justin set. Fields, Justin Fields is gonna be the best quarterback in the league. Right. But he's got to get. He's got to get there. Mark that down. Eleven thirteen. I said that shit. Justin Fields will be one of the best quarterbacks if he can learn off of Russ. He That's needs fair. to learn how to read the defense, read the schemes, and make decisions. If he can make decisions. He's going to be golden because yeah, his decision to run is like this. Yeah, if he wants to run, he's running. So, and again, that's what I like about Justin Fields. But all right, enough of that game. Um, next game was Vikings at Jags, and we both had the Vikings winning that, which I would be concerned if they didn't win that one, to be honest with you. They almost didn't. Oh, I know. I mean, it was still decently close. Less than a uh, touchdown. Yeah, because the Vikings didn't score a touchdown. Oh, I didn't know that. They kicked field goals. Oh. All of them. And Sam Darnold threw three picks. Damn. <laughs> the only thing <laughs> they were scoring was interceptions. Yikes. Um, uh, next game was Broncos at Chiefs. Unreal. And sh- a shocker, we both had the Chiefs winning that one. You know, and I still think today that 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 game should be nullified. It should give it to the Broncos. Um, there was some speculation, and I'm still saying it's fucking bullshit. There's a lot of bad calls, and a lot of calls that went to the Chiefs' way that there shouldn't have been. There was an illegal man downfield, but they said, oh, it wasn't. Okay, you get, as an offensive lineman, you get one yard no matter what. There's no rule after I mean, you get one yard downfield. That dude was like three or four. But apparently it wasn't. Um, and then, <clears throat> what was her name? Sarah Thomas. Sarah Thomas, yeah. FaceTiming Taylor Swift before the game. Yeah. What the fuck are What the fuck are we doing here, NFL? Like what? It's not someone. Someone said it good. Uh, I was reading comments somewhere about it. Somebody worded it great. Whether or not. It was whatever you want to believe it is. It's not a good look. It it doesn't look no, good. That's what I'm saying. And she's the one that threw a phantom flag. You know what a phantom flag is? No. I've never heard that before. So it's uh it's when a referee throws a flag but there's no penalty on the fucking field. They just make one up. It's called a phantom flag. Oh. And she's the one she's the one that threw a fucking flag and should have never fucking been called. And secondly, secondly, all these special teams, this is the biggest one right now. This is the biggest pet peeve I have. 
I understand if you want to say it was an illegal man downfield. You want to call all these bad calls. But that blocked field goal, you go look at every fucking special teams play this year with a blocked field goal that was called back because they jumped over the center using momentum from another teammate. You know, you're not allowed to push off another teammate, right? Right. Okay. That motherfucker did. It's clear as day, and they didn't call it. Even the Broncos, a lot of the Broncos players were so pissed off. And they have a right to uh, be. Yeah. You know, I'm getting paid millions of dollars to try to win this game. And you're telling me that I can't speak out on a ref's bad call? Yeah. No, fuck this. Fuck this. I run this league. That's what the players need to start realizing is without the players, there is no <sighs> entertainment. Right. So if they want, if they wanted to go on strike, you know what? I'm fucking right there with them. Dude. Right. Because it's bullshit to me. You know, if you're gonna call that on every other team, why are we not calling it in the overtime against yeah. the Chiefs? It's un unreal, dude. It's just unreal. So I, I don't know. That's it's bogus. Absolutely bogus. And that's all fair. Well, um, it should be fair. I know. The next game was 49ers at Bucks, which we've kind of already talked about this game a little bit. So, I don't know if there's any other... No, but um, I have to add one thing to the Chiefs. Or uh, the... Okay. Okay. To the 49er game, Bosa doing the Trump dance. Oh my god, hilarious. yeah, I forgot about that. That was just hilarious. Listen, I'm not getting political in this at all. I just think it's funny him imitating Trump. That was that's funny. A, that's a big motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Bosa is a big motherfucker. So for him to do that just made me laugh. It was funny. That was his, I'm pretty sure that was the only only sack he had that that game. So it made it even more funny. <coughs> um, uh, I'm just rewatching this play, but you go ahead. I'm I want to make sure I was correct. Uh, next game was Bills at Colts, with of course the Bills winning because they're on fire this year. <laughs> Yeah, the Bills are looking good, and I think they're the, one of the only teams now that can beat the Chiefs. Um, yeah, I, I, would, I was gonna last say. Week, though, I said it <laughs> last week, though. I said it. I said Broncos is a team that could beat them. Yeah, but I didn't say I didn't say it airhead, and that's where they were this week. So you better watch out next next time they face each other, because again, that's a divisional game. Yeah. Yeah, of course, we both had the Bills winning against the Colts. <clears throat> and usually games like that I have to kind of, like, think about, but I don't even think I thought about that one. I just put the Bills. Because they're on fire this year. Um, Next game was Titans at Chargers, which we both had the Chargers winning. <clears throat> Yeah, I knew the Chargers were going to win that game. That was an easy pick for me. Yeah, I think that was an easy pick for me, too, to be honest. The fucking... They suck. <laughs> Titans suck. I mean, they're not as bad as the Panthers, but they suck. The poor Panthers. <laughs> well, now I'm starting to think the fucking hey. Giants are worse. Hey, you know what, though? You know what Panthers fans have that a lot of other teams don't have? Passion. Well, there's that, but I was going to say nobody can ever say they were bandwagon fans. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fucking true. Uh, next, uh, yeah, next game, which was probably the second closest game of the of the week, was the Jets at Cardinals. Um. This is one that you can say na 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 boo boo to me because 
I picked the Jets and you picked the Cardinals. Hey, what can I say? Well. I don't want the Cardinals to win, but. I know, I know. I'll be honest with you, that was one that I, like, I looked at, and I'm like, who the hell do I pick here? And I said, well, I said, yeah, maybe Aaron Rodgers and them will pull one off. But, yeah, I see that, I see that really worked out for me. <laughs> um, Next game <laughs> was Eagles at Cowboys. Uh, I had the Eagles, and it says here Chris picked the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have jokes tonight, don't I? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Marcus, you heard it here. Chris picked the Cowboys last week. <laughs> oh, I thought they were bound to win one. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that was the third closest game of the week. <laughs> Did they well, even not win it next week either? So, um, or they better not. I'll scream if they win. I will scream. I tell you what, that fucking state there will be rocking next week. Just saying, we'll we'll get to that in a second. But uh, next game was Lions at Texans, which I know we both had the Lions winning, and I know Chris was kind of upset that the Texans didn't pull it off, but. Listen, I'm just saying right there is a Super Bowl preview right there. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I can't argue with that. I fucking love the Texans, and I, I almost hope they go the whole fucking way, just so I can shove it in everybody's fucking face I, and say, who said the che the Texans were good this year? Who said the fuck the tech? Like, I had someone tell me this year that the Texans wasn't nobody. I said, huh? 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 Like, I understand they don't have Stephon Dicks. But you know what the first thing I said was when they were like, well, they don't got Stefan Diggs no more. You know what the first thing I said was? They didn't have him last year. Yeah. Yep. They had the same fucking three wide receivers. Dell. Uh, Dell, Nico Collins, and the tight end Schultz. They had the same motherfucking three, bro. Yep. And they went as far as they did last year. Now, I mean, yes, Stefan Diggs still hurts the team not being there. I, I understand. I, right. I it. It, it does put a drag on it a little bit, I think. But they also didn't have uh, Mixon. Yeah. And Mixon's fucking, he's doing it. He's doing it. As long as he keeps healthy. Um, uh, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Yeah. Starting that out there. So, up until this point, we were tied for this this last week's uh, record. Uh, Dolphins at Rams was the tiebreaker. Because I had the Rams winning and you had the Dolphins winning. And the Dolphins definitely showed up last week, I will say. So. So, I won the tiebreaker this week. You, you suck. We were. We you were, suck. We, yeah, I know. We would have both been spot on if. I had picked the same team you picked last week. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um. All right, now we'll go. I guess we'll go in next week if Chris doesn't have any. I guess this coming week if Chris doesn't have anything else to comment on. No, I'm just pissed off that my bets didn't hit for the Dolphins and Rams game. Just that's all. Well, that's that's fair. Assholes. <laughs> Can't score one touchdown for me, dude. Just one. Nope. Okay. Uh, for anybody new here, what this started off as a flash game. It was supposed to be Chris had less than a minute to pick his teams. It has since evolved into Chris now talks about every single freaking game. You have to. <sighs> but, for anybody new here, I also have my picks. I, and I know not, almost nothing about football. I know a little more than I used to because of Christopher, but um, I, he's the idiot that knows a lot about football, lives and breathes it, and I'm the idiot that knows nothing about it. So I always do my picks, too, just kind of based on kind of what I know. And I, I, I'm doing all right, I think. I don't really have reasons. Right, you know. Well, I don't really have reasons as to why I pick some of these teams. I just pick them, but... <laughs> 
don't think I'm doing terrible. You're definitely doing better than me. But... <laughs> so anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the games of the upcoming week. The only game that we don't pick is the 49ers game because obviously we're 49ers fans and that's just bad juju. But um, Chris will tell me what his picks are. I mark on my thing if our picks are different, and at, but at the end of it, I kind of say, shut up. At the end of it, I uh, tell them which games that I pick different on, and we go from there. So far, we have yet to have a week where we pick the exact same teams. One of us always picks a different team somewhere. So, I guess we'll see for this week. And we're starting off with a doozy. Yeah, first game is Commanders at Eagles. And I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it proud. Let's go, Commanders. Okay, and the next game, which, oh, this is going to be a good, this is always, set, set a preface for anybody that's new, although everyone here should understand, we live in Steelers country, we are in Steelers country, we live just south of Pittsburgh, so we were in, we were in however, we also kind of lived in Ravens territory, because we, oh, Ravens. because we were from Maryland, so, it, we were like midway between the two, so you would have it was definitely, in my opinion, more Steelers fans. I definitely feel yeah. like there were more Steelers, but there were a good bit of Ravens fans that we, you know, kind of grew up with and stuff. So Ravens at Steelers is like the game in this area. Like that is the game of the year. So I'm curious to know what Chris Chris picks here. I'm going Ravens. Okay. I just see the Ravens winning this okay. week because. Their defense is not... Not phenomenal? Oh, no, you're saying the Ravens. Yeah, their defense... I mean, it's going to be the battle of defenses, really. Um, I guess the only thing I should be looking at in this game is how how the running game is going to affect the Ravens. I don't know what the Ravens' running game... Right. Like, the defense looks like. I don't know what they're ranked at. If they can stop the run, they're stopping everything. Yeah, okay. Um, because they got a really good safety, really good cornerback. So, I mean, if they can stop this run, it's going to be a good game. And I don't care what the Steelers' run defense looks like. I don't care. You got Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's right. not. That man's, a, that man's just a whole whole new breed of, of. You got Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry back here running the ball, dude. Yeah. Like, there's just two. One's a flashy runner. He's a quarterback. He can throw the ball. So you don't know what's going to come out this game. It's going to be a hell of a game to watch. And it will be on the TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, like I said, the, it's the, that is the game of the year. Every time the Ravens and the Steelers play, that is, like, the game. Nobody gives a shit about the rest of the games. I, I kid you not. <laughs> I, have to, I do have to add to this yet again. I want to... I want to say who's a must win here because that's a, usually a nice thing to do at least once or twice a week. Okay. I think right now this is a Ravens must win game. Okay. Because they're 7 and 3. They've played 10 games. They didn't, I don't think they had a bye week yet. Steelers had a bye week with the, the Niners. They had the same bye week. They only played 9 games. Right now, the Steelers, I don't think, played a divisional game yet. If the Ravens can come away with a win at Pittsburgh, it's going to help their playoff chances in case they, these teams win out together. Because you're beating them at the Steelers. So I think this week, this is a Ravens must-win game. Because, let's see, what is the Ravens? They are... Another 7-3. and three. They are 2-1 and one in their division. So, they need to... They need this, this win. They lost against the, the fucking Browns. That's why they're 2-1 and one in the division. Steelers did not play a divisional game yet. So, like I said, this is a Ravens must-win game. Okay. Yeah. They need to show up and tell Steelers who they are. So, that's what I got to say. Okay. 
Um, next game is Ram Rams at Patriots. You know what? We're getting later into the season where I need teams to start winning, so I'm going to go with the Patriots. Okay. I hope the fuck they pull it out. We need the Patriots to okay. win against the Rams. I don't see it happening, but okay. um, that's my pick. That's my pick. Uh, next game is Colts at Jets. Colts at fucking Jets. Colts at Jets. And Anthony Anthony Richardson is started or er, is stated to start this week against the Jets. So there we go again. We're we're flipping. Listen, guys, coaches, just hear me out, man. I, I understand you're 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 probably smarter than me at football. But there's one thing that you need to understand as a fan watching the game is just because some of us fans watch the game and we want to coach too, doesn't mean we don't know anything about football. Okay? Right. Stop switching your fucking quarterback up. That is the worst thing to do to a team because they don't know, well, who are we gonna get next week? Or who are we gonna do this week? Or Oh, we're gonna we're gonna put a running back in a fucking quarterback. No, just stop, dude. Like Joe Flacco, I think was good enough to lead this team, but now you're putting Anthony Richardson. I understand why they're doing it. They want him to be the franchise quarterback, and he wants to cry that he was out of shape. I'd be having that motherfucker run laps all day long. You want to say that you're tired? All right. Well, next practice, you're running laps around the fucking Lucas Oil Stadium all day, all fucking day. Don't tell me you're out of breath again, ever. Right. Um, so, I, I, it's so hard to pick this team. Because you're either going to get Aaron Rodgers throwing five touchdowns, or you're getting Aaron Rodgers throwing five picks. Like, it's going to end up in a tie. It's going to be 0-0. Zero, zero. What's the fucking score going to be? It's a 0-0 zero, zero tie. That's my prediction. Can I do a tie? Can you imagine me calling that shit? A tie? You gotta pick. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the Colts. Okay. Again, you don't know what Jets team you're gonna get. The Jets is gonna throw five interceptions. Or the Jets gonna throw five touchdowns. You just don't know. You don't know what you're getting. Or an Achilles tear on fucking his other leg. Next. Uh, next game is Raiders at Dolphins. Raiders at Dolphins. Yeah, I I had no idea who to pick for this one. I was like, I don't. I'm, I'm picking the Dolphins just because they're at home. Okay. Just because they're at home. Okay. Uh, next game is Packers at Bears. Mmm. That's probably like the game of the week there. Uh. I'm picking the Packers. Okay. Um. I don't, I don't trust Caleb Williams. Right. Yeah, the Bears aren't doing too hot this year, are they? <laughs> well, they they're up in the air, you know. You're, right. You're getting, you might get the Caleb Williams throwing four touchdowns. You're getting the Caleb Williams that throws four picks. Uh, next game is Browns at Saints. Damn, another tough game. Uh, I'm going Saints with Allen because they're at home. Okay. Uh, Vikings at <clears throat> Titans. I'm going Vikings. Okay. Um, Jags at Lions. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pick the Jags, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, definitely picking the Lions on that one. Um, I don't even think they got Trevor Lawrence back yet either. So Ooh, yeah. I think he's out. Yeah, Mac Jones is starting. So uh, Next game on my list... Is Seahawks at 49ers. Which I don't think it needs said. So, Falcons at Broncos. I'm one Niners. We need that game. Back. Yeah, I agree. Who do we... Who would you say? Falcons at Broncos. Ah, uh, Falcons. Bo Nix might show up, though. Never know. You said Falcons for that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, that's another must win for the Falcons. They okay. need to win that game. Um, the next game, the Bills have the chance to do the funniest thing ever, and I hope they do. So, Chiefs at Bills. <laughs> I'm going Bills, fuck it. 
Yeah, that's what I picked, was the Bills. They, okay. have, they have a chance to do the funniest thing I've ever seen, so. Let's go Ty Johnson. I hope he runs for 1,000 yards in one a game. 1,000? If Ty Johnson runs for 1,000 yards, I don't know what I'll do. But <laughs> He'll probably retire because there's the <laughs> way he's going for a thousand yards. I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, it probably dude. isn't. They'd have to give him the ball. Like, they'd have to intercept the ball right away and have him run every single play, like every single play at the one yard line. Yes, run yes, ninety-nine yard, yes, ninety-nine yards for a touchdown. Yes, and then they'd have to intercept the ball. They have to intercept the ball again. <laughs> and then go back down. Yes, the they run opposite. Yes, and, yeah, yeah. I don't see that happening. Um. Next game is Bengals at Chargers. That one I had to think about. I was like, I don't know about this one. I want the Chargers to win, but dude, Bengals are nasty during November. And that's a Sunday night game, so I don't have to bet on it. That's good. Okay, I'm going to go with the Bengals simply because... Okay. Joe Burrow being fifteen and now fifteen and six during November, but I want the Chargers to win because they need to keep up with Kansas City. My heart wants Chargers. My brain saying they're not they're not doing it this week. All right, well, uh, last the Monday night game. Yeah, last but not least, and I know Chris is going to pick the Cowboys, but Texans at Cowboys. Fuck them boys! <laughs> Fuck them boys! I'm gonna make a song now. Uh, going for the Texans, because I just want them to win, dude. I just want them to win every game out from here on out. I really do. They got a tough schedule coming up in December, playing three games in two weeks. Dude, that's insane to me. Yeah, I, that I don't is know crazy. Why that's a thing. Um,. And it's not, again, not easy teams are going against. So they need this win, dude. They need this win. Cowboys are 0-4 at home. I just now seen that stat line. Holy shit. Let's make it 0-5, Texans, please. You guys need this game. This is a huge game. Yeah. Because we're, we're coming into December. Again, they're, they got three fucking games in two weeks. They need this game bad. So... And I hope that fucking state just rocks that year. I like, just... just I just, week. I just got some breaking news, some breaking NFL news. Brock Purdy, named NFL Slime Time MVP for Week 10 performance versus the Bucks on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Speaking of MVP talks, okay, this is the year that Lamar should be in the MVP talks. Not last year. Just saying. Lamar Jackson's actually showing up this year with his leg and his arm. Josh Allen is too, though. I'm not going to lie. I think Josh Allen should be front runner right now. Uh, for sure. I agree. I, I was going to say Groff until he threw them five picks. Right. Or Jared Goff, I guess. Not Groff, but whatever. Whatever his name is. Um. But yeah, I'm just saying right now it's... I don't know. That's my prediction this week. It's tough. I hope. I, you know what? I don't really give a, a, a flying fuck about all any of these games except for the Bills game. That's the only game I give a shit about this week. <laughs> well, so, I mean, obviously, I give a fuck about a lot more than you do. Well, I give a shit about the 49ers game, and I, I, I could make an argument. I'll be all right. I'll be all right if the Bears even win because... We're looking at we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're starting we're starting to talk about playoffs. Yeah. Right now, if playoffs started right now, the 49ers are not in it. Right. They're on the bubble right now. Right. So, so we need to win. Out of all your picks, uh, I only had two picks that were different. So I think we did uh, we did all right. I have the Rams winning against the Patriots. Yeah, because you're not a true Niner fan. Fuck you. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's in all the conferences, and I just pick, I just pick teams, especially if I don't well, really know. I picked the Patriots mainly because they're at home, and the Rams got to come from L.A. to Foxborough. That's a long flight. 
It's a long flight. And it might be playing in the cold. Yeah, that's yeah, that is true. I'm not saying the Rams can't play in the cold. I'm just saying when you're used to LA weather and you come yeah. over here, buddy. Yeah, it's a little uh, a little nipply. <laughs> it was 29 degrees this morning, guys. Yeah. 20 fucking. I walked outside. There was so much frost on the goddamn ground. I thought it was fucking snow. Yeah. I said, what the fuck? My nipples got hard. <laughs> just saying. Uh, the only other game that I picked different is I have the Raiders winning. Who the fuck do they even the, play? The Dolphins. Dolphins, yeah. Again, the only reason I'm picking them is because they're at home. That's uh, that's fair. That's you're coming from Las Vegas, clear to clear to Florida. That's another long ass flight. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's I'm, you're probably used to the heat, though. Honestly, yeah. But, but it's not Florida heat. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, there's that dry, that dry heat compared to, I just call it Florida heat. Florida heat's probably just, like, not fun. Yeah. No, Florida heat is uh, is definitely uh, <laughs> a whole other ball game. But, now what are we on? We are we on. Made it to the NHL. We did make it to the NHL. Hockey. Hockey. <laughs> That's the final buzzer of the game. That's why we have to play that. Oh my god. Um. So I don't know if Ethan has has anything to talk about from this past week. All I have to say about the Pittsburgh Pens. Against the Dallas Stars. Damn. Damn. They <laughs> got absolutely annihilated. <laughs> that game. Oh. I was like, I was like, but oh, they, okay. but they, they beat Washington. <laughs> they somehow beat Washington, which they usually do. But I'm just. Uh... I'm just so at a loss. I am, I am at a loss for words. How bad the pens are this year? I thought they were bad last year. Yeah, no, <laughs> lower the bar. This year. <laughs> they, 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 you you they said you Ethan. You said there's no way that this team could get any worse, and the pens turned around and said, "Bet." <laughs> <laughs> Hold my beer and watch. This. Hold my beer and watch this. Hold my icy light and watch this. Hold my icy light and watch this. Oh, yeah, that's a problem icy, right there. Icy light cans, aren't they? Yeah. yeah that's that's a, a problem right there, and they're not on the old Germans. That's, yeah. If yeah. they were old German, they'd be holding that Stanley Cup yes. already, you know? Yeah, they, no playoffs needed. They'd already have won it. Yep. <laughs> Game over. Somebody get um, a hold of the pens right now. <laughs> so, Ja Marcus, if you watch this, Ja Marcus, I have another friend, Marcus. So, when we say fuck you, Marcus, he likes the Dallas Cowboys in the NFL. So, Ja Marcus, if you watch this, as my hockey friend, um, if you never tried an old German beer, it's from Pittsburgh. If you can ever find, I know you're from Canada, so it might be very tough to find. I doubt I'll find it there. Yeah, I doubt it. But if you ever happen to have a friend or someone who can ship it to you, I wouldn't mind trying to ship it to you. But um, I don't think I can ship liquids across uh, a whole country. I don't think you can. Shit, like that's going to get flagged right away. Um, All right. I will try it state to state. Food's on the way. Um, but yeah. Only you, gotta try, you gotta try an old German if you ever get your hands on it. Uh, looks like right now... What? Oh, they're already in the first, Ethan. You want to pick your, your winners for Red Wings Penguins already? <laughs> no, Red Wings. <laughs> no, no hesitation. Uh, looks like uh, Maple Leafs and Capitals are playing two. They're 1-1, one, so we have the chance right now. I'm picking... I'm going to go with the Capitals. Yeah, you know, as much as I hate the Capitals, I'm going to probably also have to pick pick them on that one, too. I'm, I'm you know, I think I guess we're going to go 
clean sweep across the board. We're going Capitals all the way. Uh, they're seven and two at home. That's one reason oh, why I'm yeah, picking it. Oh yeah, then yeah, that's probably not a bad pick. Listen, a home field advantage is a lot, dude. It doesn't oh, yeah. matter what sport you're in. Like, and I think that's why Utah did so um, good in their first games. Congratulations hype. to Pennsylvania for having the two worst NHL teams. Uh, <laughs> Hey, they, they they got they they got to know they got they got to be good at something. And if it means having bad teams, then the Pirates, the Pens, the Steelers. Although I, there could be an argument made there. Good this year. <laughs> yeah, Steelers. And, uh, the Pirates wasn't too bad either. They got that new pitcher. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. The Pirates okay. Ain't bad okay. Right. Uh, okay. No, the the Pirates aren't a terrible team. They just have a terrible owner. It's just bad when they get to the All Star break. They like fuck up. Like they're just um, I don't know, bad. All I got <laughs> gotta say as well. There's Jets, man. Uh, there's there's just dude. Is anyone even gonna stop them? Uh one team did. <laughs> yeah, let's say like one team, but like I don't even remember who it was. That'd be funny. Uh, let right. me look. Dude, I would laugh. It was, that, it was uh, Maple Leafs that beat them six four. Oh, okay, well, I mean, fair enough, I guess. Um, speaking of that, I think they're going against Marcus's Jamarcus's team next. Actually, it looks like their next game was uh, what the hell was their next game? It looked like it was the uh, Lightning. Yep, it is. Man, there tomorrow. It is. Tomorrow, Mark J. Marcus. Good luck to your team. Jay Marcus, you know what? I'm gonna go for your team. Yeah. I hope I hope they put that two right next to their fifteen. Let's go. Cause uh I need the Jets to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here okay with the Jets winning, but yeah, I can see why Chris doesn't want them to win. So Yeah, I need to I need to make the playoffs or something, dude. I don't I don't even know what how many teams in the division actually go to a playoff. Um sixteen. It's probably just the best out of the conferences, then. Or yeah, the, yeah like... it goes down until there's the best two teams in the conference, and then so yeah, you'll I'm never you'll lot. never have. I don't think you can, or maybe you can. I don't know. See, like football, they take the top from each division, and then they take uh, usually the second best team in the conference, right? So, like, if you're – there's four four divisions. There's four divisions, two conferences in football. So, they'll take literally the first from each division. The first team with the highest record in each conference gets the bye week, the best record. They they get the bye weeks. So I don't know. It's, it can, football ones can be confusing, too. But the hockey, I think, is super confusing. So, we'll figure it out. It's a long season yet, so. Oh yeah, not even, not even that far into it yet. Yeah. <laughs> but we have the Hurricanes at Utah. You know I'm going fucking Utah. Right. I don't see them winning that. Utah for that one. I don't see them winning against the Hurricanes. Yeah, those Hurricanes this year have been, they've been pretty damn good. They're saying, "Here I am." Brought you like Horacon. I can't do that guy's voice, dude. Every time I hear that song, it says "brought you, brought you, brought you." That's how he says it. It's, it sounds like he says "brought you." <laughs> Golden Knights at the Ducks. I'm going Golden Knights because they're yep. just yeah. Like, is that a, is that a home game? game? No, they're at the Ducks. Okay. Uh, well, the their their away has been iffy this year, but I. Seems like they're starting to show up a little bit. Uh, and then you got like we already did the Maple Leafs, Kings, and Avalanche tonight. Ooh. Oh, there's another team I want to talk about. The Kings, they're starting to show up again. Yeah, I think I say that last time I looked, they were first in the Pacific, or they at least still they are. Still. Yeah, they, yeah, they still are. I mean, that's. Not like the LA Kings. They they're usually mediocre, but whose jersey is that? That's kind of nasty looking. A green jersey. Who is that? 
Uh, Minnesota? Ah, uh, yeah. It might I, be. I'd say I think Minnesota, yeah. But Minnesota. Uh, Krill. This guy's is Krill. Cap resolve. I don't know. Whoever he plays for. I'm going to copy his name and look it up. I can't okay. say his name. That's a good idea, Murdoch. I can't. These guys' names are like wild. Oh, <laughs> crazy names in the. They're all all over the world too. Minnesota Wild, yeah, that's a wild looking jersey, dude. I oh, like yeah. that, I, I, bro. All those jerseys the other day, I'm like, damn, those are like sick. the white, the white, and the, like the the weird green looking. Yeah, that's kind of sad. That's kind of that's nasty. What are you? All doing? right, you're eating your fingers. I'm I'm a sucker for jerseys. Oregon NF or Oregon football team in college has the best jerseys ever. Just saying, and I'm pretty sure. I think it was last year I I read about it or the year before. Uh, the guy who like runs the designs for Oregon's college football team. I know this is way off topic, but again, we're at a podcast. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> um. The guy who runs Under Armour was actually like his son played for Oregon, so there was their fucking jersey designs is out of this league, bro. They make some of the best looking jerseys. Okay, we'll go over tomorrow's game as well, real quick, which quite a bit here. Uh, <laughs> Flyers and Senators. Where I'm going, Senators. Yeah. Uh, we already talked about the Jets and the Lightning. I want the Lightning to win, but if I had to make a bet on it, that's scary. (laughs) Although the money line is Winnipeg by plus 105. So, yeah, I'd probably. That's crazy they're plus 105. Why? That's weird to me. Probably because they're so far away, maybe? I don't know. Uh. Yeah, I'm going lightning, hopefully. Devils at the Panthers, that's uh that's gonna be a banger. Mm-hmm. They're, both, they're both with eleven wins this season. I'll go Panthers, because they're at home. Although the Devils are seven and three away. Holy shit. <laughs> Sharks are Rangers. Sharks are on a fucking they got five games now. Fuck it, we'll go Sharks. <laughs> Probably the wrong pick, but I don't care. Blues and Sabres, I'm going... Ooh. That's a tough one. I'm going to have to go Sabres. I need the Sabres to win. Blues are in my division. Mm. Bruins and Stars. Ooh, that'll be a good game. Bruins and Stars. I'm going to go with the Stars because they, they just came off of that win. Yeah, and they're 6-1 and one at home. So, Yeah, I'll go Stars. 6-1 and one at home. That's kind of hard to beat. Canadians at Wild. Probably going to get Wild. Redditors at the Oilers. It seems Oilers. like I always pick the Oilers. I'm just going to I'm just going to keep going with the Oilers. To be fair, I mean... The Predators, uh, they're doing okay this year. Islanders and Canuck at Canucks. I hate that word. You know what? I hate that word, so I'm going Islanders. What? I hate saying Canucks, so I'm going to go with Islanders. What the fuck's a Canuck? Exactly what it is. A Canuck. Duh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Totally forgot. <laughs> Did you forget? My cocks and cracking. What is it? Did you forget? Did you forget what a Canuck was like? Oh, guys, uh, quick update, real quick. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Blackhawks at the cracking. I'm taking the cracking because 
Let's be real. If it was really a Kraken, they're losing. Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! <laughs> You fucking guys. Oh Cracking my baby. god! What? I should have fucking done this for when we were talking about the last skit or Monday Night Football. I don't want to be a cowboy, oh. baby. <laughs> You're such an I idiot. forgot, I forgot! <laughs> well, <laughs> that be was... careful. Uh, might as well as Warren. Be careful uh, going around WWE because Megan saw spoilers for next week's Raw. I we recorded it after. I so. saw. I saw that it was taped. Yeah. So I, when I see that, because right. most websites I've noticed will tell me, "Hey, you know, spoilers ahead. This was ta already taped," and I just exit out of it. I don't even look at yeah, it. So, well, well, Megan thought she was watching a video from this past Raw. So, oh. No, I did not. As soon as I saw it was taped, I decided not to even put any... Fucked up. How does people get that shit already? You would think that's not even... Like, I just go to the WWE website, so I know it's not on there. I can tell you that right now, it's not on there. Oh, Megan said someone recorded it and posted it on I was gonna say people... Yeah, I was gonna say people that are there recorded and... Well, fuck them. You know what I mean. That's as usual, ruining it for everyone else. So anyway, so I guess I guess we're ready to go on to our uh, Beyond the Bell. Yeah. I'll go okay. Okay. So so before we get into SmackDown, when I was compiling this list last night, I got to the second match and I was like, I feel like. I, f I was having some deja vu. Because I felt like it was the exact same match card from the week prior. But when I... So I exited. I deleted all my stuff. And I exited out of that website. And I typed in SmackDown results. And I put the date in. And it still came up with these matches. But I was still like... I feel like this these were the matches from two weeks ago. I don't know. I was having a serious or case. Or... Or you just do what the smart people do and just go right to WWE's website. I don't. Down, I don't like go the to shows. I don't like the way that they have their stuff set up. I don't care. It's so much easier to read because then you know you go to you go to shows. You go down to SmackDown. You click SmackDown. You scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there's this little thing on the bottom with the little black bar. It says the date of the last SmackDown. You click on it, and it shows all the results. It even shows the promos. Like Roman, right here, Roman Reigns refused to apologize to Jet Uso. Well, that, that's what tipped me off that I was, I was looking at the right date, was that. So. I'm not apologizing to my brother. Oh, I'm not apologizing to him. Or my cousin, or whoever he is to me. I'm not the pussy. I say, suck it up, Jey Uso. Oh, look, we got another star in the show, everybody. Star. Spotify, you're missing this. If you if you want to see my dog, Maxi, you got to come to YouTube. Look at the old boy here. Um, he he okay. blends in with the blur. Well, hopefully I, I still got the right matches here. The first match I have is Bailey versus Candice LeRae. Yep. Okay, okay. Like I said, I got oh. to the I got to the second match, and I was like, I feel like I did this one already. <laughs> Boys getting excited. Yeah, I can't believe that Candice LeRae is like 39 years old. Yeah, I, I forgot we had that discussion. I just still can't believe that because it's like she still moves pretty good for a 39 year old. What? Dude, you know how, how hard it is for me to get out of bed and I'm always. Well, 30? I was going to say, coming from someone that has a lot of issues getting out of bed. Why are we treating 39 like that's elderly? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 39 doing WWE stunts. Not 39 throwing a football in the NFL. Okay, but I always think about The Undertaker. I mean, he can still he can still do all his shit. So that honestly 39 doesn't impress me. 
Okay, but there's a difference between a giant who gets on the turnbuckle and, like, flops on somebody compared to Candace, like, flying around the fucking ring the way she does. Well, that's what happens when you stay in shape. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, Undertaker, yeah, his moves were all power moves. They wasn't, like, you know what I mean? He's not fucking jumping off the hell in a cell onto the fucking table anymore at 39, guaranteed. But, like, even Randy Orton impresses me. Although, let me go back. I I know I said I don't know why we're treating 39 like it's elderly. Did you know in the state of Pennsylvania, 40 is considered elderly? Holy fuck, I'm going to be 40 is considered elderly in the state of PA. Wow. Nope, that's not how that works, apparently. Well, tell PA they can show... Well, wait a minute now. That means I can go to Bob Evans and get me a senior citizen discount. Oh, yeah. What, what's uh, I, think, senior I think technically you could, unless it specifically states a date or a, a, an age on there. Like 65 plus. Technically, yeah. I think you could. But I think that only really applies to housing, though, in you PA. You know what I'm so. going to do? You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go around now for our YouTube a uh, YouTube segment. I'm gonna take like Hunter, somebody who's like a lot younger than I am. What Ethan, how old are you? Twenty four. Uh we'll take Ethan. Ethan, we're gonna go to restaurants now and you're gonna ask for the see if you can get the senior citizen discount. <laughs> but, hey, <laughs> no one ever says I'm twenty four. I feel old as shit. I do feel old as shit. Hey, you Just know what you me. know what's funny though? If you order something takeout, they can't they can't stop you from ordering. I didn't eat it there. Because when we were when we were looking at IHOP tonight, I almost got something off the fifty five plus menu because it was half the price and it was I mean, don't get me wrong, it's half the portion, but I thought the portion on the picture looked like it would have been enough, so But now here's the thing, you can go to McDonald's and get a happy meal. I I know, I know. I know we're completely off topic, but just think about that for a second. I should be able to get off the 55 plus then. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the 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 business. Um next match was pretty deadly versus DIY, and this is when I started having the deja vu cuz I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that match didn't last very long. But let's talk yeah. about what happened before that, because, again, you don't talk about the promos. Sometimes the promos need to be done. Uh, Kevin Owens took out Randy Orton with a pile driver. Now, everyone's like, oh, yeah, cool. Uh, pile driver is technically an illegal move now in WWE. They say yeah. it's illegal, and he did it. That's because he, he gives no up. shits, apparently. I kind of hope someone puts him in his place. Someone like Kevin, Kevin Owens always turns heel. I just wish they just stopped doing it dirty. Like, I know he might like being heel though too. I don't know. He he might like being the villain. Some of them do. Some of them love being the villain. Like I think I Domin, think, I think Dominic think Myster- loves it. Yeah, and I think Dominic Mysterio likes being a heel too. I just think they have a lot of fun with it. I know, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I didn't know if you had anything else to say about that or not. No, I was just reading something here. Uh, next match was uh, Cargrill and Bel Air versus Jackson Stratton, which that's at least a little bit different than what what we've seen. Yeah, so, so more or less that happened because Tiffany wanted to go for the tag team titles. Yes, yeah. So that was a little different than what we we've been so seeing. There's some, I think there's how the conflict's going to start between Tiffany and, and Nia. Yeah, I could see. Uh, next match uh, was Motor City Machine Guns versus A Town Down Under. Which, and they beat him. They and they, yeah, Motor City Machine Guns beat them, which I'm thankful for. You can just say. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I did not watch uh, 
SmackDown because Megan wasn't home and I was like, eh. It doesn't look like it was that great, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, it was, I don't know, I liked it. I actually liked this SmackDown. It was pretty, it was pretty badass. Which... But, but that's also because of what happened towards the end. It finally took a turn. So go ahead, Alex. What are we talking about now? Uh, next is Raw from two nights ago. First match was Damage Control versus Pure Fusion. Per- blah, 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 blah. I can't say that word. Pure Fusion Collective. Mm. One more. Okay, hold on. One more thing I got to say about SmackDown. Okay. The, reaction middle. the reason why SmackDown was such a banger last week was because the original Bloodline came out. They were supposed to do that acknowledgement segment or whatever. And they pretty well... So Sammy, I'm pretty sure Sammy came out to talk to Solo. All this shit went down. And the original Bloodline actually beat up Solo's whatever. Whatever squad they are. Whatever they want to be called. Solo Dolo. Solo. Butt buddies. The butt squad. The butt squad. But alright, now we can go on a roll. Alright, uh, Damage Control versus Pure Fusion Collective with Damage Control winning. Thank the fucking, thank fucking Lord. Cause. Yeah. I was like, what the heck is this? Match? Um, yeah. Next match was Kofi Kingston versus Pete Dunn. Dunn defeated Kingston, and I saw that there's some speculation that Kingston might be the one that turns heel. Interesting. I thought that was an interesting speculation as well, because I don't think I've ever seen Kofi Kingston as a heel. Well, he could. I could see it, actually. The more I, the more it would be. It would be. It, it it would be interesting to say the least. I'd like if it does happen. I'd be interested to see like what happens. What happen? Next match was Damian Priest versus Kaiser. With, good match. with Priest winning. Yeah, they said it was a, a really good match. So, are they, like, doing him dirty now, or, like... I... I don't know. Who, Kaiser? Yeah. I, I don't quite know what's going on with it all that. It feels like he's been on, like, a really long losing streak. Yeah, I, I don't know. And again, right before that, they had uh, Big Bronson Reed and Seth Rollins smashing each other again. I wonder how long that rival is going to go on. Good question. Oh, no. See, I, didn't, I, I forgot to watch this week's Raw. Man, so we're just, all slacking. For... We are all, yeah. yeah. Wow, I mean, to be fair, I've been getting home at, like, fucking late as shit. I'm ready to go fucking sleep when I get home now. You fair do enough. sleep when you get home. I do. You're right. What's the next match? Uh, next match was a wing, a, a, a Wigman's, wow. Women's Tag Team Championship. Yeah, I see that. And <sighs> Bel Air and Cargrill retained. Against uh, who? Yeah. Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. Liv Morgan needs that title. She needs, like, all of them. She She's gonna come out with, like, ten titles, like... <laughs> 
Well, I missed her outfit. Apparently, she looked good that day. Damn it. I didn't see any pictures. Well, I'm going to watch this video real quick. Hopefully, it's not loud. There we go. Ah. <laughs> uh, where did I say... Hold on. Where did I say... Was it SmackDown that introduced the new... Uh, I think it was SmackDown that introduced the new, the new title. I think you're right. Yeah, Women's U.S. Championship title. That shit looks fuck, dude. That title actually looks cool. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know, I'm I'm just kind of getting tired of the whole Jaden. Oh, the same. Like every oh, time yeah. I'm like, oh, shocker, woo! Like we didn't see that coming. Lev's ring attire looked pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. Old lesbian mermaid looked pretty good. Lesbian mermaid looked good. <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> hell? I didn't realize it. Oh, okay. Okay. Stratton and Jax came out. I see, I'm just watching like some highlights and shit of it. Yeah, there you go. Damn. So maybe it's gonna be a fucking huge brawl, dude. I guess War Games is coming up. That would make sense. Yeah. Make wow, okay. I'll probably watch it here at some point today or whatever when I'm gaming. I usually just turn it on. I can't wait for War Games. When is that? Yeah, War, War Games. 30th. Uh, yeah, sorry, I think it was the 30th. Okay. So are we able... I don't know if... We're gonna be able to. What what time is that actually? What time is that gonna be on? Uh, three p.m. six for us. Six so Eastern. Six. Are we able to do that on Discord or no? We'll have to figure that out. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't I see why not. I think. Well, it's up to Ethan. Day, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's up to Ethan to see if we can. You know, that's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Weekend, yeah. Honey, what are we doing on that Saturday? Okay, yeah, we're going to Dad's, I believe. Ten four, ten four. What? I don't even know what's after War Games. Uh, don't they do one each month, right? They do I think it's yeah, usually one. yeah. I don't remember what December is. Like. I don't remember either. It's not Survivor Series. They got rid of Survivor Series, right? Or do they already do Survivor Series? Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. They change the pay-per-views like every year, so. Because <laughs> January is Royal Rumble. It's just a more fun to say. The best one. Yeah, that is the best one, I agree. What is it? Royal Rumble. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That one is the best one. I I absolutely agree. Um. So while Chris is, I don't know if Chris is looking something up. So for our previews this week for SmackDown and Raw, apparently Chris found some of the SmackDown previews. Like I said, I I could not find oh, no. anything. Uh wait, yeah, we, we have, a, have a wait, Alex. You said they got rid of Survivor Series. That's literally. Survivor Series is War Games. Oh, that's right. I, I knew Survivor Series somewhere was was said. Um, they're just doing one in December. It's just called Saturday Night's Main Event. That's the, oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's literally what I just looked at on the fourteenth. But it, I guess it makes sense because it'll be harder to do it around Christmas. So yeah. Anyways, apparently Chris said that there were uh, at least a match or two. Yeah, so there was, um, I know there's a title match. Nia Jackson, Naomi, it says. Oh. Which, I'm not sure. You should, you actually should pull up that fucking Women's World U.S. Championship thing. Or maybe I can real quick. Hold on. Um, while he's doing that. Uh, like like we said earlier, uh, I do not have a raw preview because I did see that it had already been taped. 
So a preview would have just been spoilers. So I did not I did not read anything. I did not I did not add that into into my preview list. So while Chris is doing what he's doing here. These damn ads and shit, bro. Like, it's crazy to me. <laughs> you know what title I kind of miss? What title? The Divas Champion. Oh, Liv would have that. <laughs> so, speaking of titles, by the way, um, Candice LeRae, if you go to WWE.com, Candice LeRae has a Women's Speed Champion. Oh! I don't know what that is. That title. Oh, they, every every Wednesday they do uh, speed matches. They're like five minute matches. They're actually timed. Oh. Oh well, she's got the title. So I don't know if how I'm gonna find this. Like just a picture. I just want a picture of this title. Let's see. Come the hell on, bro! Holy fuck! Chris is having a fantastic time. Well, I'm just I'll just play the video and then I'll pause it where it needs to be. The title looks fucking sweet, dude. I ain't gonna lie. All right, here we go. Look at that thing, bro. It literally looks like just a regular. Yeah, I was gonna States say, States. but it's like I don't know. It just looks nice. It's a brand new title for the women's. I don't it's, think. Like I said, it's got that white belt, though. I don't think we need new titles. I think we need new divas or new women's. We I don't know. They need to do something with this women's division. Because what they're yeah, doing, Liv, Liv needs every title in the, in the books. <laughs> That's what needs that. Because whatever they're doing now is not working for me. So it's, it's becoming stale. Dull. Yeah. Yeah. It's dull. It really is. And it's like, for example, the Jade Cargills and Bianca. They need to just turn heel already. I honestly. was gonna say one yeah, of them. Like, one of them needs to betray the other one because then it'll be at least somewhat exciting. The only thing, the only thing that's actually heating up, in my opinion, in the women's division is the Nia Jax, Tiffany Stratton. Yes, and that's. I, yeah. I think Tiffany's fun. I think Tiffany's. You know, you see her come out and you're like, oh Jesus, now what's going on? Like. Well, I mean, uh, the whole Money in the Bank thing coming out with the title, Matt. I like that. I like that. That shit needs to keep going. Yeah. You think, you know what? I'm going to make a prediction. She's going to win that United States champion. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I could see it. Well, she's becoming popular. Usually when people start becoming popular, that's when you give them the title. Yeah. Because then it, it maintains their popularity. The problem WWE has is they don't know when to... They don't know when to make them lose the title. Then it becomes yeah. like, oh, here we go again. Like, <laughs> Gunther. <laughs> yeah. And we like Gunther. Yeah. <laughs> He's had that title way too long. Well, either, either, even. I mean, he just had title way too long because he he did lose that title to Sammy and then yeah. ended up going for another one. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude? And then that's that's my issue with Jade Cargill. She's new too, but she's had the title for like almost yeah. I was gonna say for pretty well her entire career. I so I actually see 
Liv probably losing her title and her and Raquel going for the tag teams again, honestly. I could see that. Could... She might not even lose her title. She might just go for the tag teams. Hey, it happens. You... She can be one of the first women. I don't know if she would be the first woman, but I know it's not very often they hold tag team and another title. And a singles title. Yeah. I'd be alright with that. Obviously, it's Liv Morgan. Lesbian mermaid. <laughs> Yes, our, your lesbian mermaid, yep. But, alright. I think I should... That's all I had, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean... That was a beautiful podcast, everyone. Well done. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done, well done. Alright. So, Spotify listeners, again, if you guys want to watch this twitch.tv slash Murdoch Gamer. You want to see little Maxi? Maxi. Come on over on Wednesdays. Um, it'll be uploaded to YouTube on Friday, 6 a.m. Come on over, watch. Um, but other than that, we'll see you guys next week and let's get these fucking games this week, baby. Let's get them. It is Wednesday, let's my dudes. Them. It was Wednesday, my dudes. It was Wednesday, my dudes. Alright, with that being said, peace out. Love you guys. See you next week.